Okay, so this is Insight tutorial video number two. And this will be an overview of the MLoop uh, configuration tool and will just show us how to navigate through the actual software itself. There are going to be much more detailed tutorials for each particular aspect of the software, um, but this will give you a feel of where to go and what to look out for. So firstly you'll notice that there are three major windows or panes and effectively the left one is the navigator or the overview of the um, network. It's going to show us all of our panels, our repeaters and etc etc. To the right in the centre you'll see that that's our details pane and so for whatever we've got highlighted in the navigator window will be shown in more detail. And you'll see uh, down the bottom here there's another uh, window and effectively this window is the icon window so for instance this will change again depending on what we've got highlighted in our navigator window so if I go to the site or the site name or folder you'll see that this then changed and, sh and now it's asking us would we like to add a new uh, panel uh, to the network and if I simply double click it would add a new one um, if I then select the a node one panel um, you will see that this then changes and says would you like to add an input output module on the comms port you also notice that the same is true of this button up here as we toggle between these two folders whatever we've got highlighted in the navigator window this button will change and ask us the same question okay so that's fundamentally the three panes and how they function with one another you'll notice that there's a an icon bar along the top here we'll just quickly whiz through them so this is a basically a save feature because we made some alterations we added a, a new panel just a moment ago you'll you'll notice this has now become available if i select save it quickly does a quick save the next one is the edit tab and again this will change depending on whatever we have highlighted in the navigator window so for instance if I select new, uh, the site folder um, it will then allow me to change the details for that particular site uh, and some modem settings if you have a modem uh, then if I toggle between the to the panel and go edit you'll see that this now allows me to change fundamental elements of the pa this particular panel or node. The change button only becomes available if we actually uh, select a device and that's asking would we like to change from one device type to, to another. The delete is exactly what it says, would I like to delete this device. The action tab, this is used to create a bespoke message um, for um, inputs so if we have an I.O. unit and maybe we're using it for a tech alarm, we can actually put in the particular message that we would like to come up from the panel for that particular uh, type of uh, input. The next one is a quick config. This is where we're going to change all of our uh, text and zoning in here. It's a very fast way to do it. We can copy and paste, change all of the zones uh, very, very quickly. The next one is the zone manager and in here we're simply having a look at what's in each zone so we can highlight it. It's a very good way to visualize what's in each zone and if we want to change something, maybe these ones are in the wrong zone, we can simply drag and drop and place them into another one. And obviously we can go across uh, all of our individual panels here. The next one is the sensor manager and again this allows us to very quickly select the loops and panels and nodes across our network. We can do it by loops or devices and then we can set the sensitivity for them um, and indeed including the device types of the heats, the multis, all of this and then set them across the whole of the, loop, uh, the actual loop rather than individually drilling into each one and changing the sensor properties uh, individually. The loop manager uh, it only becomes available when we have a loop highlighted and again this is doing a very similar thing. We can select the actual devices uh, and broadcast them across the whole of the uh, network and change fundamental properties uh, for that particular device type. Uh, preview, uh, this is a, a great tool for when you're commissioning. Again all of the information we can filter out what we don't want and what we do want and you can see that we can have in one place all of the information to print off ready for our OEM manuals at the end of commissioning and it will de detail everything uh, regarding the system. 
The next one is the connect tab and this effectively is where we highlight and connect up to our network. Um, we'll go into this in much more detail on another tutorial. Uh, we have the dial tab that only becomes available if we have a modem we haven't got one installed currently so it's not available and lastly we have the help tab the help tab is a great way to find out how to operate or how to install something anything that you're looking for it's basically got a manual in there it's a very handy tool that's available to you just by opening the actual software Okay, you'll also note down here, just finally, that we have a note section, and in here we can add lots of information regarding the, uh, uh, this particular site. Rightio, so this is just an overview of the actual software. Um, like I say, there's gonna be much more um, detailed information relating to each aspect of the actual configuration tool.